and this is Gamer Culture. Uh, everybody, Ooh. thank you for coming to what is technically Gamer Culture po- Podcast uh, episode 27. However, we're trying something a little differently. We are going to be switching up our format away from the long form pot podcast and more into a short form show. So going forward until we are able to generate kind of the viewer base that we're looking for until we can make sure that people want something th- this long, we are going to be calling ourselves the Gamer Culture Show going forward. So this is an episode 27, episode 1, whatever we're going to do. But that being said, still... Today is, in fact, Monday, November 28th, 2016. Gamer culture is the drive, passion, and dedication to all things in gaming by the Grand Geek Gathering. The ever-changing world of gamer culture involves communities of all types, the evolving industry that surrounds us, and the people who use it for the betterment of all. Now, on to character select with the question of the week. What is your favorite Pokemon that you have gotten so far in Sun and Moon, starting with Squeaky Bear? You heard, yeah, it, yay. you heard it here for, for first. <laughs> We're selling it for no actual money. Not a net. Not a cent. No. Okay, it's really difficult for this because I haven't gotten a lot of like the newer Pokemon. And even so, the newer ones are kind of weird. They just get weirder and weirder, I feel. We should also like, mention uh, why we're doing... Why, why Pokemon? Why question about Pokemon? I mean, Because we're playing there's, it! There's also this thing right here that should make it obvious... But in case people can't put two and two together. Yeah. Um, I honestly still like the original Pokemon, so Slowpoke is my man. That's Ooh. my favorite one in this right now. Because Slowpoke has been right a beast. Yes. Her name is Impressa. Like, Impress, but like in another language. So she's Impressa, and she just beats the crap out of any Pokemon that comes her way. I hear slow pokes are they're the moves that they can learn actually make them the best for beating every totem Pokemon in the game. Mm-hmm. Yep, because you have Yawn. Yawn is like the best thing. That's why I have her like the first of my team, because I just yawn at the Pokemon, I can catch it immediately. Mm-hmm. And so oh, you have to wait a turn, but yes. I mean I wait a turn. I mean it's and then it just hit me. It's like, oh, yeah, the, the, oh, you just slapped me. You gave me five hit points. Ouch. Isn't isn't that the uh, the Pokemon goes to sleep with Yawn? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, but, but it, it's does, like after it a has turn. to wait. Yeah, oh, okay. it has to wait a turn. It doesn't automatically. Hypnosis makes it go to sleep automatically. Mm. That's Poliwag, which I have, but Poliwag is very weak compared hey. to Slowpoke. Hey guys, I heard there's a new Pokemon come out coming out. Something like X and Y. Oh, what? Oh, oh, the memes. <laughs> oh, the memes are strong. <laughs> okay, uh, wild card. Favorite Pokemon you've gotten so far? That I've gotten so far. I actually have to open up my DS and to look at it because uh, I don't remember my <laughs> team off the top of my head. Exactly. Um, team, I have it right here in front of me too. Them. Yeah. Well, I've I've got I've, I've got it on and going. Um, I actually I. It's I've evolved it. It's a Pelipper now, but it was a seagull originally. Seagull. I'm yeah, really, that's I'm really, really good one. surprised about this thing. I thought it was just a dumb seagull, like a pigeon. No, but that he, thing was really good in Gen Three. Yeah, but like, I, like she's named Gulliver mm-hmm. because like Gulliver, and I'm really surprised how good this Pokemon is. Yeah, water uh, Pokemon are very resilient. Like it's crazy yeah. how strong they can be. It'd have to be that or uh, the Dudrio I caught named Hansen. <laughs> ah! <laughs> love it. I approve. And, I love it. Um, the biggest disappointment, I have to say, is Abra into Kadabra. Because when what? Abra evolves, it does not learn confusion. No. It oh, only. Why don't you have to do the whole thing where it. You have to just wait for the experience share to let it soak up the XP. Yeah, you have to yep. you have to bring it up to like level 23, 24, 25 until it finally learns an attack move. Yuck. Which is Psybeam, not Confusion. Yeah. And it's like Psybeam sucks. I want Confusion, please. <laughs> I, yeah. I I end up replacing it with like Psycutter, but still that's that's a huge disappointment. Yeah, it is. 
But they also got Snorlax. That's my second favorite. Yeah. Love it. And his name's Hodor. Not Holdor? <laughs> it's Hodor. Here comes Hodor. Bam. I feel like uh, I feel like that's a reference to something that I don't watch. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it's a throne game. Oh, yeah. there's there's a game about thrones. Yeah, what? it's not very good though. Oh, okay. You just die a lot. Yeah. Um, Everybody dies. You know what's interesting is I like speaking of like po- Pokemon and moves. I found out that the Alolan Marowak, like the the Ghost Ground or Ghost, what, what is he? Ghost Ground or Ghost Fire? Ghost, I think he's Ghost, ghost, ghost fire. fire. I want to say his yeah. best move, like the one that like ever, like you really need him to not know. Um, he <laughs> learns it. You need a Marowak to evolve or to level up to level twenty-seven. M- Marowak or wh- what is it? Um, Cubone doesn't even evolve into Marowak until twenty-eight. So you need to beat the game, get the move retrainer, and then use him to teach him one of those moves. Oh my gosh! Damn. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Um, That's ridiculous. A little bit. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, and again, um, I am Kuma, and my favorite Pokemon that I have gotten thus far into the game that isn't my adorable starter, Primarina, um, goddamn, would probably have to be... It's a a toss-up, and I don't want to pull a Tyler. Pull a Tyler. Uh, Do it. Pull the McFailure. Okay. Channel the McFailure. Channel the McFailure. Okay. So it's either going to be my Growlithe, just because I've always loved Growlithe. Even though he sucks. My Growlithe <laughs> sucks. He cannot take a hit to save his life. Which I know that's a thing with fire Pokemon. They're supposed to be glass cannons. Yeah. But his his stats just aren't up to par to like sweep anyone yet. Even grass po- Pokemon, unless they're like below him, in, like really below him in levels. He can't one-shot yet. No. Um, Not until Flamethrower. Actually, you know, he just learned flame, flamethrower. I haven't used him since he learned flamethrower. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, Ember uh, sucks. <laughs> oh god, it sucks. Um, he actually had flame burst for a while. Actually, but, uh, uh, mine's good. using flame chomp, and it's working pretty well. Flame chomp is pretty that one, good. That because... one's good. It's a physical move, move though. I, I, if I'm gonna have a tight move, I want a physical and a special. Yeah, I've, I've got the I've got the flame chomp for the physical, and I got flame wheel for the magical. Okay. The, the special, I guess that's what special. it's called. Because I, because I know I know for Pokemon it's physical or special, but really it's physical or magic. Basically, <laughs> it's the best yeah. way to elemental. Um, my other, my other favorite is a cop out, but I'm going to stand by it. It's Pikachu. Yes, uh, my Pikachu. Right now, God I caught damn it as cop Pichu. out. I How it dare as a you? Pichu How a dare you? Level three. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> you know this wild card. Um. No, um, I caught it at a P- as a P- Pichu at level three. Is the first Pokemon I caught. Um, mm-hmm. Really, the yeah. first? First, first Pokemon I ran into was a Pichu. Um, That's crazy. It took me forever grown, to get so to. I the had Pichu. two electric Pokemon on my team for a while. I, I, I still um, don't have a Pikachu. <laughs> like I haven't seen one out in the wild yet. What? I think you have to catch it as Pichu. I yeah, seen, it's I very easy. I haven't seen a Pichu either. It's on the first like, island before you go see the Kahuna. Or like it's in like the first route, like the first pat- pat- patches of grass. I don't know nope. how where they are. Nope. It's I... over in the patch of grass before you go in into the area where the Kahuna is. I knew. Yep. Over on I the know left. that there's a lot of those birds. But just keep on running around, and I, Pichu I will I appear. I haven't seen a Pichu. But no, you just you only... have to keep going. You know what? Like for I, five I got, minutes. I got Magnemite, so I'm happy. I've got electric. Cover. I have that too. And I I've got that too, yeah. And I got Rowlet, so I don't see why I need to be scared of water or ground types. That's true. Because I got a Rowlet, and his name is Sterling, and he is a goddamn majestic. <laughs> get it? My, because my... You, do you do you get the name reference? I I, yes. I get an Archer reference. I get yes. it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um. The reason I want the Pikachu so bad, and really, if 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 Raichu wasn't different in this, I would ditch the P. I would have ditched the Pikachu a long time t- time ago, and stuck with my uh, my Grubbin, Grubbin because is powerful. It can Grubbin, learn flying move for goodness sake as well. Like yeah, my, yeah, my Grubbin knew acrobatics. I'm like, you're amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Especially since I didn't catch the bird. I, um, do, I don't know what a Grubbin is. 
It's, it's the, the little, little bug with like bug the two that has the pinchers. I oh I tried um, I tried to catch one of those, but it never showed up. And then it's What game are you playing? I'm playing Sun. What a game are you guys playing? I'm playing Sun and I get I have forty percent on my Pokedex for the first island. Nothing showing up. Um but yeah, the only reason I want the Pikachu is because Raichu is a electric psychic type in this game. Ooh. I know, that's so cool. I'm like that's weird, but um, okay. Well, it's, it's because he's surfing on his tail. Make him a water type. You know, throw back to the whole Pikachu learn, learning surf thing. Wait, water what? and electric. Wait, Pikachu that would be a, surf? It, it already exists. Chincho. Yeah, it does, but, but Pikachu being water and electric blows my mind there. I don't know how I can process that. Right, and Raichu being a psychic electric doesn't? I would, I don't know. I don't know. It sounds uh, cooler. I I have a red version installed on my 3DS as well, so I, mm -hmm. I've actually been going through that. Um, not not very much. Like I just finished the second badge on it. Um, mm -hmm. My Rattata is by far my strongest Pokemon. Like Hyper Fang is a beast, yes. and uh, and he knows. Is your Rattata in the top one one percent of Rattatas? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you and Jimmy and, should hang uh, out. <laughs> and my Rattata knows Water Gun. Nice. That's the thing can, about normal types that they can learn like that they can learn any move. They can learn water gun. Yep. Yeah. You, types you can, can learn most. You, can, you get the water gun TM in Mount Moon. I did not know this. Huh. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's pretty neat. Yeah. That's huh. one of the usefulness about normal po normal Pokemon is that they they get. Beat to shit by fired or by fighting types, and they can't. Af and normal type moves can't affect uh, ghosts, but their how broad of a moves of move sets they can learn is usually pretty nuts. I rem remember I actually have a in Sun and Moon you can ride a Stoutland. A Stoutland was on my main party back in God. What game did he come out with? Black and White, I think it was. That Stoutland was out. Mm. Whichever game it was, he was on my main par main, my main party, and um, he was a beast because he was a fucking tank. Yeah, even he could tank. He could usually take several fighting type moves to the face. Um, but yeah, I probably my favorite thing is the P this is the Pikachu because I want the the psychic uh, the psychic electric rat. Mm -hmm. so, um, wait, does he like psychically move his electric currents or? <laughs> he he flies in the air on his tail, and that's why he's psychic. Yep. Yep. Because he's surfing on his tail. Because it's Aloha. Alola, yabada. No, right. no, it's, uh, it's Hawaiian, not Jamaica. <laughs> different side. Different side. <laughs> I mean, you got different it. side of America. Um, so, how are you guys liking the game? The game so far, starting with starting with wild card. I have my gripes. Um, your like? rival, your rival's a bitch. Oh. Flat out, your rival is a bitch. I'm waiting for him to to just man up at some point. Not He's red. Why. He beat me. He beat me on the third island. As soon as you get to the third I island, you, you fight him. That's when his Pikachu finally evolves to Raichu. One shot half my team. Oh, I mop, I've oh. mopped the floor with him every time. Like I've done with that. His Raichu or his Pikachu with, with his Raichu because. I fought. I fought him with his right shoe once so far, and it's the only time he's beaten me. Hmm. Like I, I pulled out my Dudrio, and nothing his right shoe could do affected uh -huh. Dudrio. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm sorry, Hanson. I, I, Han also, I love that you're calling him Dudrio, not Doug Trio. I'm calling him Hanson now. Okay, that's that's his okay. name in game. <laughs> like I put, I pulled out Hanson, and there's nothing that the right shoe could do to him. And so I just like three shot his um, Raichu. See, that's really smart because with with Doug Trio, he's definitely a lot tank tankier, especially with, like with that ground type. Um, his resistances are a lot better. I really don't have any tanks on my team right now, which is sort of a detriment. I mean, I guess my Hariyama um, is a bit bit of a tank. Oh no, I don't like him. I love my Hariyama. I've uh, never liked it, that Pokemon. He's always been so weak for me. Like, if you go against a psychic, you're done. And well, a lot a of the type. Pokemon. You... 
I know, but at, at least some other fighting types can at least survive a little bit more than he can. Yeah. Again, that plays into most of my team are sweepers. Um, so, so card, you don't like the rival. I don't think most of us do. Is like, the rival? I, I feel like he's he's really weak. Um, he's too nice. I'm sorry, but I remember Gary to this day because he was a dick. <laughs> I don't look at his him as your rival. I look at that person from Team Skull who is like, oh, I'm so brooding and everything as your rival. I don't know what that kid's deal is, but I my character just does not care about him. I yeah. freaking love that guy. Um, oh it's, I, I will agree with you about your about your rival friend, and and I think Squeaky's right. He's less of a rival and more more just like yeah, it's your, it's your buddy that you play with. Yeah, and he but you're definitely right. He's so happy all of the time, and I'm like, you are adorably naive. Yeah, <laughs> like you're those posts where people are like. Like from Tumblr, where it's everyone's like, "Oh, honey, no." <laughs> I, I I feel like it's all the masalada that he eats. The masalada. Yeah. A, a buddy of mine posted a picture of that, and I'm like, it's basically a donut without yeah. the hole. It's well, um. God, what what was it that it said that it was called in its native language? It's like basic food or something like that. That's like what it translates into. It's just basic food. It's just basic food. This is or basic like, food. I'm good with being basic the rest of my life. Uh, there's there's a French donut that's the exact same thing. Beignet. I, ben, beignet. That's it. Beignet. Beignets are fucking They're, delicious. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's what they are. They're beignets. So they are? I fucking love malasadas now. Okay, this is, is what it's called. Food. It's called... It's... Um, malasada is... Um, it's Portuguese for undercooked. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? Not oh, cooked all the way. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I was okay. just like, oh, so, yeah, I'm giving so my Pokemon are... undercooked food. Okay, I love them so much, don't I? So we all agree the rival isn't great. Uh, what else? Any anything else, card? Um, uh, I haven't played in a few days, so I'm I'm a, I'm a little rusty right now. Um, the island hopping, I feel like it feels really disjointed. Mm-hmm. Like I remember Pokemon, like the old ones, being like, "Oh, it's a big world; you can go wherever you want." In this case, it's yeah. like, "Oh, you're done with the first island, on to the second island." I'm sure I'm yeah. going to be able to go back at some point, but it's like, I, I, there, it's really disjointed going from island to island. Mm-hmm. I agree, and it I also don't weird. like. I feel like it's very um, linear. Yes, it's not where I can like, oh, I can head over here. It's like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't head over here. It's a little bit hard, but I'm gonna go here anyways. And I, I think that's a function of the fact that it is all on islands. You know, with the traditional map, it's there's a lot of interconnecting ways and everything. With this, it's more just it's very straightforward. It's like, oh, I'm done. Now I go to the ne- next island. Oh no, and everything, and like you said, everything's very straightforward. There's not a lot of branching paths. I haven't really felt encouraged to explore the world. It's more like you're on your trip, and and I actually have a the the, the thing actually, that I'm not happy with. Uh, like, uh, I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring this that. point up after you're done, Kuma. But no, go, ahead. go, ahead. go, go, go. Um, it actually feels like you're pushed away from exploring the island because every time mm-hmm. you go off the beaten path, it's like, oh, there's random encounters here. Yeah. Well, random encounters are supposed to be there. Like that's. Yeah. Po- that's po- uh, Pokemon. What they do, or what they are having a bad habit of, is oh hey, here's terrain for a Pokemon that you haven't had, that you don't have access to to yet. Because in this game, they don't have the whole HM thing anymore. Now it's here's rocky terrain. You need a Mudsdale to cross it. Here's water. You need a Lapras to cross it. Um, so they throw a lot of that in your path. They throw a lot of like, there's literally a gate in this road. That you cannot cross unless you go beat the um, the gym, the, the Kahuna, or the trial, or, or the, the trial, trial person. Yeah, which is fine because that's basically what they did with the old gym leaders, where it's like you need the HM to no cut, but you have to go beat that gym le- gym le- leader to do it. Um, I feel like they just got lazier with the barriers, though. I mean, there's the I, one guy. I agree. There's the one guy with the little Pokemon that sniffs around. He's like, oh, you can't go to this area yet. We're trying to find all the treasures. Please come back later. Yeah, it's like, motherfucker, I'll go around you. Can I just just sneak around you here? You're being really inconsiderate right now. What if other people that are more important than you need to get through here? 
Yeah, there's a good yeah. 10 feet to your left that you're not, you know, shoving your Pokemon's face into right now. Can I go that way? No? All right, dick. Uh, no, <laughs> I, I agree. There's a Taurus blocking my way. I'll just beat it? I'll beat yeah. it and then catch it? That's what I thought I was going to do. It's like, no, I can't touch it. Okay, bye. Inquisitively opens Pokeball? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's a Pokemon in your way. Roop. <laughs> I have six answers to this problem on my belt right now. Um, okay, okay. So, with, so yeah, with, the, with I, another fifty ways to contain it in my backpack. Bring yeah, up exactly. My pokeball. There you go. Yeah, you throw yeah. that at it a couple times. There you go. Alrighty, uh, any other things, Card? Uh, that's all off the top of my head. I, I'm sure. Other, I'm sure other people have different gripes. <laughs> I've got one for you. Squeaks. Mm-hmm. Um, as I was saying, it, it especially it just feels like everything's disconnected. Mm-hmm. Um, especially when you go into a trial, you go into the trial and you can catch Pokemon there, but you have to go all the way through, and then you have to go all the way back. There's no like, oh, you can go out this way. Oh, you can move over that way. It it just feels like it's like this. Everything is separated into their own bubbles, and it doesn't feel like it's connected and. It makes me like, okay, I guess for today I'm going to be doing the water area to catch water Pokemon. Okay, tomorrow I guess I'll go catch fire Pokemon. Oh, I got another gripe. Mm -hmm. It's super easy. That was my gripe. super easy. That is my gripe. Like, I have had... I'm about to rant. I've had no (laughs) problem with the game. And, like, the only thing that's thrown me a challenge so far was the plant totem Pokemon. But even then, it was just annoying. I had a fire type. It was nothing. Yeah, like, I had my I had my Growlithe there. But even mm. still, like, I kept putting status effects on my Growlithe. But it's like, you're just delaying the, in- the inevitable here. Yeah. You know what I would do? I would just yawn at him. <laughs> Problem solved. Shut up, Slowpoke. <laughs> or uh, the, whole, uh, the whole calling for help is annoying. I actually kind of like that mechanic like because you it. can experience grind it. I don't mm-hmm. like it because I remember for the water challenge, I tried to catch one of those fish, but he kept calling for help every mm-hmm. single time. Yeah. You're not allowed to catch it during a trial. I tried anyway. <laughs> you're, not, you're not allowed. That's why you couldn't catch it. You're not allowed to catch it until after the trial. All right, Kuma. Rant. Okay, so <laughs> this I actually shook my camera. Um, yes. <laughs> the number one thing I noticed as soon as we started this game was that it holds your hand hard. Like it's the mom that has her kid on a leash. I mean, the the the, the standard tutorials are there. The how to catch a Pokemon, how to use a Pokemon Center, buying items. That's all standard. That's all just stuff we expect now. But. The fact that it went once you beat a Pokemon, now all of you, whenever you come up against it, now it will always tell you which moves are super effective, effective, or ineffective instead of having to just remember. Um, I don't mind that. That's the one thing I, I don't mind. I think that's because you're a newer player. Yes. For for vets, it's a little annoying. It's cool, I guess, but it's a little annoying. That I feel they're definitely targeting their kid audience with this game, starting with the Pokedex. The fact that it's the I Rotom hate Dex, it. I hate it. I want my Pokedex to shut up already. Like, I just seriously, ignore the Pokedex it. is a character. It literally flies out of your pocket sometimes and talks to people. It's like, it I'm does? sorry, you're a Rotom. Aren't you supposed to be legendary and shut up? Like, <laughs> Nebby comes out of his bag more more than you. Or less than you. Um, <laughs> pew, pew, but, pew. Yeah, pew, 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 pew. We get it. <laughs> playing F- yeah, shut up, Nebby. Um... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I don't like the Pokedex. I don't like that it stares at you. I don't like it that it ta- talks to me. I'm like, you're a tool. Act like one. Um, I, I'm not a fan of it telling you, like, what your move moves are. It's like, oh, fuck, I've been play- playing this game forever. It at least should be an option I could turn off. Um, like you said, I think everything is really linear. It keeps you, like, really kind of on the- this path, which, again, I think is to help the kids to be like, this is the way you go, guys. You know, da da da. Um, I think all the dialogue is super simplified, at least whenever P- Professor Kukui is there. Which Kukui's eye, he's 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 a dork. And that that like, masked that masked wrestler that you face in the battle royale. Oh man, that guy, man, yeah. he's a. 
I, I, just, I have no idea who he is, but he is a Guys, isn't it weird how him and the professor are, like, never in the same room? That's all yeah. I thought. I, um, I guess the professor's just busy or something. By the way, my uh, uh, totally canon. My character's an idiot because... Um, <sighs> There was the two options of like when they bring when they bring bring that up. It's hey, that's the prof- like isn't that the professor or, or like professor is that you? And then the other one where it's like okay, bye. And I did the okay, bye. So I it, it's headcanon <laughs> now. That my character doesn't actually know. Uh, and it's, if, it, if you're, not, even if you're a, not far enough yet, it's it's completely obvious. There's this there's isn't spoilers. Mission. Yeah, there, there's even a, mi- a mission where, so, like, the professor forgets his mask somewhere, and someone's like, hey, the professor left this here. Can you go go give it to him? Um, and my guy's like, yeah, sure. And you give it back, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'll make sure the masked wrestler gets this. And just headcanon my <laughs> car- character's like, wow, that's cool of you. You're really nice. You and him must be tight. <laughs> <laughs> because that's... my character just always has that dumb... <laughs> <laughs> Just that dumb look on his face. He never stop smiling. Like, stop smiling. you're freaking me out, dude. Blink or something. I don't f- do something. Just you're doing your little dance and sending out firepower. Like, that's that's another thing I wish is that I can give my character actual expressions. Like, I wouldn't mind giving my character a neutral or a frowny face. I wouldn't yeah. do the pouty face. Just go all the time. <laughs> go, Sterling. I like the. I like the customization of the characters, though. What? That's another gripe I have about the customization, is that you can't see what the hairstyle looks like before you select yes. it. Yes! Oh, you have to buy just look it. it up. You have to yeah. just look it up. Just look I don't it want up. It. You shouldn't have to look, look it up. There should be a picture. Oh my gosh. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Even if it's not at your actual character, but it's just like... Oh, I think that's a little petty. I mean, you did that all the time with Poke- with the very first generation. You had to figure out everything. You had to figure out types and everything by trial and error. They didn't give you a handbook. And now you have the internet to be able to have handbook. I think that it's okay. The thing everything is, else in this game is hand-fed to me. They couldn't give me the hair. The oh. thing is, um, I tried that when the, when the first day of the game came out, and those images weren't available online yet. Uh I mean, just save. What I did was I just saved before I did it. And then I didn't like it, and so I quit. <laughs> and then I brought it back up again. I didn't waste money. Very smart. I got exactly what I wanted. I got the black, luscious locks. I oh, love my that. hair. I've got the... My, my character's got the Slim Shady look going. He's got the, the short... Um, I don't even remember what it's short, called anymore. Short, like, bowl-cut blonde hair. Yeah. Or just, like, shaved, shaved clothes. Plat- I was... Like, platinum blonde, yeah. I think I've got the glasses. I've got a decent shirt. Still not, I'm still not crazy about it because it's a polo, and I'm like, great, it's oh, one please, of my work please shirts. Please tell me it's a pink polo. It's not. It's blue. Oh, you got um, you got to rock the pink polo. And I can't find jeans I like. <laughs> it's so dumb. We're talking about Pokemon right now. I can't find jeans that I like because it's all like the ripped jeans. I'm like, can I just find regular jeans? No. I mean, the, these jeans I'm wearing right now are ripped, but they're ripped in the crotch, so. Um, <laughs> TMI, I don't think TMI. I don't think that's a look you can have in the game. Um, no, you must yeah. fi- you must figure this out yourself. No more hand-holding. But yeah, major major gripe with the game is that it feels way too easy. It They're, they're definitely aiming their sights at their, um, their younger audience, mm-hmm. which is very, very apparent from their... Oh, awesome. hey, what, what, do like. you, uh, what do you hit to bring that oh. up? There we go. What there is there it, she uh... is. That's my character. Yeah. That's her. Is that the trainer passport? Yeah. And you, and you just click it again. Press A again after you bring it up. And you can see your outfit. We can all show our outfits. Yeah. Uh, mine's dead right now. Oh, oh. That's not I... good for your battery. I know. There you go. Uh, Let it die. That, that's what I'm rocking right now. I have to yeah. look at the Twitch to see what you're so doing. We're gonna have to, I'm going to have to wait to see the uh, the episode. Um, but, um, so yeah, so like, last final thoughts, and then we have, like, whether or not we're excited or, or not, or think we're going to be um, powering um, through it or t- taking our time, and then we'll talk about... Squeaky had a theory video we're going to talk talk about re- really quick. We're and run- then we we're running well on time though. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll go over it really quick. We'll just yeah, okay. we'll, we'll mention it, send people over to it cuz it's fun. 
Uh, so really quick, thoughts on the game. Are you enjoying it? Card, go. Yes, I'm enjoying it. I will finish it, but at my own pace. Yep. yep. Squeaks? Same here. It's the first Pokemon game where I feel like I can actually finish the Pokedex without it being too stressful. Well, it's really nice that it actually tells you, like, not only what percentage of the po Pokedex you have done, what percentage of what particular island you have done, so that's going to help mm -hmm. you know where to go. And which um, Pokemon are on each island. Yes. Um, it's pretty much the same thing that all of you said. I'm going to be taking it um, kind of at my own pace. Um, you know, I don't want to just barrel through the game. I know people who beat the game, like, super quick. I've got buddies mm -hmm. who beat it, like, within a couple days. And I'm yeah. like... I don't care. I I don't know how you did that. You've got level 60-some team that you've already beat the Elite Four with. That's nuts. Um, all right, uh, really quick, Squeaks, you brought a video to our attention, so why don't you talk mm -hmm. about it? Okay, so um, Game, Theorist, Game Theorist came out with a video about Pokemon Go, the theory of Pokemon Go, and basically he was just trying to say he where it fits in the timeline. Pokemon Go. He's been wanting to do a theory video about Pokemon. He just never got around to it because he got caught by all the fans saying FNAF, FNAF, all the time. Matt Pat? Yeah. Matt Pat, sad Pat. Pat. Yeah, Pat, yeah, yeah. Cat Pat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pat. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I dig it. Yeah, I've seen the video before. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's my headcanon. I'm not afraid to shame it. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Yeah, that's that makes sense. I'm fine with it. Um, I'm not playing Pokemon. It doesn't. I'm not playing Pokemon Go anymore, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. But. <laughs> Same. Um, I agree. It was really interesting. So the, the theory was that Pokemon Go takes place, you know, before, um, mm -hmm. be, before the first Pokemon games, before the Pokemon War. Uh, that's why we don't have Mewtwo and we don't have uh, Ditto because none of those cloning procedures have gone through yet. Oh, um, but guess what happened two days after that video released? You can catch a ditto now. <laughs> ditto came out! <laughs> because fuck the theory! Yay! It's um, like, beautiful. So for two days, that theory was great. But yeah, the theory being that, oh, this is before the war, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you don't know about the Pokemon War theory, go look that, that up. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's another silly theory from Matt, from Matt Pat, which that's not a downer on Matt Pat. I love his stuff. Yeah. Um, the one thing that I liked about it is him explaining who Willow is, Professor Willow is. Yeah, that was a really cool point. I mean, I, I knew about the Lieutenant Surge theory. I had never heard about the Willow one. Yeah, that um, Price, um, who is from Gen 2. Yeah, it's Gen 2. Price is um, basically old Professor Willow. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm so, okay with it. Also, the theory absolutely accepts that um, rare candies are made from ground-up Pokemon. Oh, yeah. I agree with that. That's totally what it is. <laughs> and also, he can't say... There was one other thing he said. is like, um, you could only find rare candy on the ground. How many times at the coffee shop does the freaking dude give me a rare candy after I drink coffee from him? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I, he gives I, me a rare candy every single time. I'm like, how so, many things this? do you is have? In, I, I, this... haven't, I haven't gotten candy. I No, I haven't so gotten good. coffee from it yet. Go to the coffee shop. I've and after you bought talk, anything from those. Go to the coffee shop, buy the coffee, whatever one you want, and then you will get pokey beans and you will get um, rare candy. And sometimes he'll even give you, like, other rare items. I did not know that was a thing. Oh, I totally man, did missing that. Out. Yes, to be fair, because you like are cheap. Beans. Because you are cheap. I'm absolutely cheap. I'm frugal, thank you. When you went over to the, um, you remember the market or the supermarket or whatever that yes, place is? I loved that place. Okay, so you saw the hypno. Yep, I knew that exactly. That was dressed as a human. And you gave him $1,000? No, I didn't give him anything. Give him $1,000 and you'll get a TM. Isn't it 1,000 yen or pokey dollars? Whatever it is, I just call it dollars. Which is actually what around ten bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so give him that, and he will give you a TM. What's okay. the, What's the TM? I'm not gonna say. You have to figure out if you want it or not. <laughs> Lame. I'm not gonna make it that easy. All right, that's our challenge for everyone today. Go out, give that hypno a thousand dollars, and get a TM <laughs> for it. Um. All right, everybody. So I mean, that was our first Pokemon show. We ran a little longer than we wanted, but hey, you know, we had shit we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Um. But anyway, any, anyone's got any fi final thoughts, final things, anything they're like super excited about the about they've been playing or 
Slowpokeus King. Slowpokeus King. Slowpokeus King. <laughs> King, but he is not our Lord and Savior. That is the Helix Fossil. Um, <laughs> praise Helix! Praise Helix! <laughs> and his son, Pidgeot. Um, and th- thank you, everybody, for tuning in. For all your gamer culture needs, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, Twitch TV, and thegrandgeekgathering.com. This or show Instagram, has been you-, you know, grandmas might want to watch gaming as well. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> actually... <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was pretty good. I'm not gonna say that. Instagram. I don't in, know. In, that in, sounds in, good. Instagram. Insta- 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 Instagram. Insta- this show has been brought to you by the Grand Geek Gathering Network. Do not forget to subscribe, rate, and review us. Also, don't forget to check us out on YouTube. We now have our own YouTube channel where all of our videos go up, as well as these episodes. That is youtubecom uh, gamerculture I believe it is. Should be. Yeah. Special thanks to the band Carbonite for granting us permission for the use of their song Say I Am. Be on the lookout in the, fu- in the future for us adding a new tune to some of our videos. Join the gathering, stay cultured, have a great week, and GGG! Slowpoke rocks. Slowpoke rocks.